Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be about how to add a background image onto your post, whether it's a post for your social media or for whatever reasons. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that using Canva. Canva is a graphic design tool that is free and easy to use, and you'll be able to do that by the end of this video. Hi guys, my name is Steve from stevenjohnsy.com. I create two videos a week. One video is usually about personal development and education like this one, and the other video is about health and nutrition. So let's get to the screen capture and I'll show you how you can do that. Before I do that, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a video. I post two videos a week, one video for personal development and uh, education like this one, and the other video is usually about health and nutrition. So let's do this guys, I'll see you on the other side. Okay guys, here we are. Uh, this is the homepage of Canva.com. Uh, to get here, obviously we need to sign in first, or if you haven't got an account, go to Canva.com and then sign up and then you will be directed to this page. So once you are on this page, you, uh, you'll see different things there uh, that you can learn as you go. And I've got a, a tutorial that I've done that was, I think, one of my best tutorials. Uh, it's uh, Canva for beginners, so you can uh, go and watch it if you like, so you can know how to use different tools inside Canva. So I'll put a link up on the a card up on there, so you can uh, get to watch that, and I'll put the link down below. Uh, but otherwise, we'll go and create uh, this um, uh, tutorial for today uh, we go to create a design and then just go to uh, customs design and then type in a thousand by a thousand pixel just a standard one so you can uh, get the uh, the right dimensions on and uh, you create a new design and then it brings you the uh, white canvas there that you're gonna be working on uh, so what we are going to do I'm just gonna maybe type something on the canvas there and the shortcut to that um, we just uh, click on the canvas and then press T on the keyboard and then um, the text uh, placeholder will come. So I'll just uh, type something so we can work on. Um, as you can see there, the text is there. And then what I will do, I'll just, uh, I'll just go to uh, um, increase the font size. Now let's see. Um, it's too big. <laughs> okay. Um, then I'll just bring it into the middle, and uh, Canva helps you as you do that. So once you're in the middle, it will. You see, there you go. The ooze purple lines. They show you that you're in the middle. So I'll just leave it there, and then you can. Um, <clears throat> Um, come here as well and change uh, whatever uh, and select uh, whatever font that you want uh, let me see. I'll use that one for now and then that's it that's our uh, code so we're gonna work on this so because we want to change that white background so we're gonna have to go to background uh, here um, uh, to do that but uh, just while we're here so when you uh, as you can see there's nothing up here but when we click on the canvas there is a toolbar that comes up uh, you, and then here is the color uh, palette that will uh, come up there so you can change the color of whatever that is inside but we want to change the background so that you can have a background that is uh, the color that we want so what we do um, we go to backgrounds there <clears throat> and then on the background as I was saying in my intro that you can either uh, use a solid color or a pattern or even a photo so we're gonna do that uh, the photo will come up there and then we've got the patterns and then right now we'll just start with the solid color so the solid color you can come up here if you come up on the top left corner uh, there's a color palette that comes uh, similar to when you uh, click on that uh, these are my uh, these are the color that are on the documents uh, like the canvas that you've got a white color and a black so they're all there so every time you have a you have something on the canvas there will be the document color that come uh, canva brings up for you so you can see then you've got your own uh, color so that you selected or that you use normally that's my brand colors that i use and then the default different colors that you, you want to use so what we will do here we'll just select um let's select that one and then you can play around with this one if you don't really want that you can then come up here to, to new color and then just create a little color there that you want or you can select to green and then play with it up there so it's up to you what you want to do so I'll just leave it there for now and yeah, I'll just leave it 
just, uh, that's it, that one there. <clears throat> and that's it, that's the background color that you can change to. And then you've done, you've changed, you can post it, looks a little bit uh, different to a plain one. And uh, if you're using your brand as well, they will know that this is your, your, your brand. Uh, uh, that is, uh, uh, the post is from your brand. And uh, then to go to the next one, the next one is about the pattern. As you can see, the different patterns say, so you can, um, go to see or you can just go here just to select different uh, patterns or just go to see all then all the patterns the color patterns will come up so we'll see which one we can select just to try and uh, see how it goes um, <clears throat> if you click on it uh, you can either click on it and then it will pop up straight onto that uh, or you can uh, I'll just go back you can go back by just uh, undoing and then you can either click on it and then drag it there if you come up there so either way you click on it or you drag it uh, <clears throat> then you can you see that color now is right on the corner there where you can uh, play with it and you've got uh, some tools there that you can play with it as well uh, you've got the filters that you can use uh, you can adjust as well how much you want the contrast and all that uh, saturation it's up to you how you really play with it uh, then you can crop a little bit if you want uh, to do that and uh, you can animate if you like <laughs> and then uh, <clears throat> if you want to change that again you can uh, click on to the one that you want uh, and it go directly there so i'll click on that you see now our now our photo is completely uh, different so now if we click here and we go on to the color uh, then Okay, if we click on it and then we come here, the interesting thing about Canva is that is they've got the the colors from this, all different colors from that. So the white the, and that one there and the green or the beige, all those are there, there. So you can play around with them as well. You can click on that and then uh, come here and then increase a little bit, you see it, it changes. So they give you all those colors to play around as well. Otherwise, you just need to go and use your own color. And you can play around there as well. And uh, the other thing that you, you should know is the transparency there. You can even, uh, you see how you can play with it, make it less transparent. Uh, you just pick up the color and then the, the you know, the patterns and dis they disappear. Or you can just make it completely stronger. So I'll just leave it nice like that. Yeah. there you go <clears throat> so if you want to maybe leave that and then maybe to do two different uh, colors you can um to to get a new page what you can do you can uh, uh on this here you can uh, duplicate the page so now we've got that one and this one so we'll change this one and put in a, a photo as i was saying so our background now is going to be a photo uh, so what you do with photos you just come to uh, photos and Canva provides all different photos that you want. Uh, you know, you won't even need to worry about because uh, they are all free. Uh, so if you hover over a photo, it will tell you if it's a pro photo or it's a, pro, uh, it's a free photo. So because I'm on my Canva Pro account, uh, so it says pro, you won't see it um, say free unless I come here and then select, I want to see only free photos. Then I apply the filters, then you see it also free. Free, 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 all the free photos that are there so we can select one photo there as well then we start uh, let's see which one will fit our code um, uh, let's see oh what you can do as well you can instead of scrolling and scrolling you can check here to see whether the heading for um, what you want or for your code is there oh, I'll just type uh, happiness and, and, and see what uh, comes up you see uh, see if, uh, people are happy there so what you can do now you can uh, take that one so with this one now you see it's when you can either drag it or click on it it will come onto the canvas as i said before with the other one so what you, you, you for it to cover the whole uh, canvas you, you need to um, position it in a way that it will cover everything and then so that it can be behind so what i'll do I will come up here up to the edge there and then I'm going to drag um, the corner so that I can um, cover the whole oh, thing as you can see then I'll let go <coughs> uh, but I don't like this because it's not in the middle <laughs> so what I'll do uh, into the 
the canvas there, you just drag to the position that you want. And Canva will show you as well uh, once you're in the middle, uh, as you can see. So you can either do that if you want her to be there, you can even drag it down a little bit like that. I think that looks good. Uh, or you can do, so the hands can be in as well. Uh, then let's see if... I'll just pull it this side and then so she can be in the middle. Um, so this line tells us that she's in the middle there. I think that will do. Yeah, so you can play around with it. Uh, if you want to play with, um, uh, with it again, you can do just double click on it. It gives you the allowance to move it. Like, you see, I think that would be better. Maybe. Yeah, then done. And that's it. That's how you can put a, uh, um, a photo as a background onto your code, or you can even put the, the, your code up there a little bit. There you go. That's it. I think it looks good. And uh, you can do that as well. And we had the one with the um, um, the one with the plain or solid colors. So that's how you do it, guys. And I hope you've learned something uh, uh, from this video. As I said, I've got a lot of uh, tutorials uh, on Canva. So I'll put the link down below on all the tutorials I've done for, for Canva. And uh, just check them out. And uh, you might learn some tricks there and tips that you can use uh, on your daily uh, basis. So I uh, love Canva because Canva is a free graphic design tool. Uh, but uh, to get more out of it, you can even upgrade to a Canva, a Canva for Pro or Canva for Business, which is also amazing for all different multiple, multiple tools. Uh, but just a bonus, just to um, give you a tip, a bonus before I go, uh, you can go down to uh, more here on the left toolbar and you look at this uh, comes uh, different uh, options there. So you've got Pexels and Pixabay. These are the places where you can get different photos as well for free. Uh, so just uh, check them out as well. Uh, you've got an option and it, all these photos will be free for you. So it's an addition that Canva has added onto their, um, uh, their website so that people can have access to different photos. Alrighty, and I've got a video as well on where you can get other photos for free without copyright uh, uh, worrying. So just check that video. I'll put the link up here as well. Um, down below and I'll put a card up here so you can um, uh, check them out as well. They're very, very good information to know. And uh, otherwise, guys, uh, thank you very much uh, for your attention for being here. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video or you've learned something, give it a thumbs up. Alrighty, guys, I'll talk to you in the next video. There you go, guys. I hope you've learned something from this video. And if you have, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a video. Like I said before, I post two videos a week, one video for personal development education and the other video is usually about health and nutrition. So with that, uh, guys, thank you again and I will see you in the next video. You take care. Bye.